and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to run through what I believe is the best gym duffel bag that I've had. For people that know me, I've had quite a few bags and I've been through quite a lot of gym bags. In my opinion, this one here is the best one and this is the Lululemon Command the Day duffel bag. Okay, so I'm going to go through the specific features of this bag and um, what its functionality is and, and you know the reasons why I think it's the, the best bag out there in the market. As I sort of mentioned earlier, I've been through quite a lot of duffel bags in my time. For anyone that trains most days or very regularly, it's important that you have a good gym duffel bag to keep all your gear in there. I don't personally want the bag to be too big and to carry around with me because I do need to take this bag to work sometimes. There's a lot of things that I need or would like a bag to have in terms of its functionality um, and I feel that this bag ticks a lot of those boxes. This bag is 37 litres in total so for me it's not too big and it's not too small I've had bigger bags in the past and I found them just too bulky and too too much for what I need um, and I've had smaller bags and they've just not been quite big enough for all of the, the kit that I'm carrying around and when I got a hold of this one it, it had everything that I needed and more um, and it's a bit of a hybrid bag between using it for the gym but also being able to double it up for kind of a, a more formal work bag as well. On the back here there's a kind of secret pocket um, which is quite well padded and that there will fit a 13 inch laptop in there so as you can imagine if you know I, I do a lot of video editing I carry a laptop for work that is perfect for putting not just a laptop in there but if you've got any books or diaries or anything like that it fits perfectly in the back there and it's sort of designed to for that part to sit against you so that is quite a nifty feature that that has there the other external pocket for your phone and for your keys and, and whatnot like that and it's got a zip on there as well and it's quite well hidden it just looks like a fold in the bag but that pocket actually goes quite deep as you can see my hand in there and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag to the base of the bag so quite a lot of room in there for phone wallet and just gear that you just need to get quick access to i think it would probably fit your kindle in there as well and um, so that's quite a handy handy pocket for just grabbing things quite quickly it has two pockets on either side of the bag this one here um it says on the kind of leaflet that it came with that this will hold two protein shake shakers so this will typically have, be able to hold your water in there and maybe a protein shaker as well but it doesn't have to just be for that you can pretty much put anything in there i, I tend to use it for that and um, for a protein shaker an empty one and one just to hold the protein in there as well so that's quite a, a handy pocket there um on the other side is your kind of your shoe compartment and um, I actually keep from dirty you know once I've trained that I will typically go straight to work from the gym so I'll get changed at work um, and that's quite a handy pocket just to put all of my dirty kit in and to separate it from the main compartment of the bag and um, it's supposed to be for shoes but you know I just put the, the sort of dirty dirty laundry in there and what I think is quite handy about this if you I mean if you don't if you don't use that a lot and you just wanted it for a kind of just a flat pocket sometimes a lot of other bags that the shoot compartment takes away some of the internal storage but what this bag actually has here is a clip so that clip will actually stow away that excess sort of fabric that would typically just sit in the bag and just, if you're not using it, it wouldn't really serve a purpose. So it's quite good the way that it's been designed because there's a clip that will just clip into there and then that just stays completely out of the way and separates it from the internal storage yeah. of the bag, which I think is a really well thought out feature, to be honest. Um, so yeah, moving on to the internal storage of the bag, I thought it would be good just to keep 
all of the stuff that I would typically carry in here in the bag and just take it out and give you sort of a, a tour of what's what's in my gym bag as well. And um, so in here, you'll see that there is an internal pocket. I do a lot of CrossFit, so I just keep my knee sleeves and a skipping rope. A little life hack if you do do CrossFit are these bulldog clips. And I just tie away the rope in there. Keeps it nice and clean and tidy. Little life hack there for you. Um, so I'll typically keep that in the kind of back sort of pocket. It's a very similar sort of size to the external laptop pocket. I don't think it would fit a laptop in there, but again, you can put pretty much anything there. I just keep my, as I said, my knee sleeves and my skipping rope in that compartment because I don't use them very often, but when I do use them, they're there and they're not, again, taking away any sort of space within the internal storage of the bag. That's also got a zip on it as well. At the the front sort of internal storage you'll see that there's two kind of high quality mesh pockets in previous bags I would have a sort of separate sort of small wash bag to, to carry all these bits and bobs that were typically used for CrossFit and um, hand grips very important I have the railing ones I saw these advertised on Instagram they don't have the finger holes in them um, I think these are the best ones on the market. I think many others are doing very similar designs now, but these ones are really, really good, high quality. I've had them for a while. They've not really worn down, really good quality. So I'll keep them in the internal storage in there. Uh, so there's, there's two of these kind of mesh pockets. There's one there, both the same size and one there. Um, heart rate monitor, if I'm doing any sort of endurance conditioning training, I'll keep that in one side and wrist supports, skittles, taste the rainbow <coughs> and then the other one I'll have my I suppose sweatbands and um, these these ones are from uh, Rogue Fitness and they're kind of like a, a bit of a, a sort of sock design with two Sort of bits on the end which and, and they're, they're really good. I don't actually I mean I do use them for when I am sweating in a workout but what they're actually really handy for is that I find that these hand grips dig into my wrists quite a lot and just having them on there just takes that kind of grip and that pull away um, from actually sort of just touching the skin so these are really really handy so Rogue Fitness Check it out. What I'll do is I'll actually link some of this stuff down below. So if you do want a quick access to it, you can just um, click on the link below. But yeah, Rogue Fitness um, wristbands. And <coughs> here I've got headbands. These ones are pretty cool. Again, I had a bit of a Lululemon face, so I bought a few of these. Um, at one point in time, I did have really sort of a big quiff and it was getting all in my eyes, so I decided to buy a couple of these. Um, people took the mick out of me quite a lot, to be honest, so they just stay in the bag. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that's all that's in there. Oh, one more. That's for the thumbs. So just a bit of tape, physio tape um, for the thumbs. So that's the, the two that's in there. And then the rest of the, the bag, I've just got my weightlifting shoes. Weight belt that just kind of, little kind of links, just in case. Uh, yeah, weight belt and little hand towel just for when I'm working hard. Um, so that's pretty much everything that's that's in the bag. Um, yeah, so that's everything that I sort of store and keep in the bag. Um, in terms of the sort of build quality of this bag, I would say it, it's just 
superb. Lulu, I mean, I, I have done a review on the the backpack, and that is just fun, you know one of the it is the best bag that I've ever had. I would never look back. Um, this bag is is just as high quality in terms of build quality. I'm not sure what this bag is actually made of in terms of the actual sort of materials, but you can tell just from its feel and its texture that it's really high quality. These straps, these sort of nylon straps, these are made from, I would probably say, what you would typically find on a seat belt. So really, really robust and really, really high quality. These things will never, never break. Um, I think this bag will last quite a few years of wear and tear and just getting knocked about. The same for these kind of handles as well. It's a sort of seat belt material. I don't know what that material is, but it, it obviously really high quality. Um, and the, the other thing that I quite like about Lululemon, and I mentioned this on the previous one, video as well with the, the backpack review, is that the branding is very, very subtle, so it's not in your face. It's really high build quality. You feel good wearing it because it's a Lululemon brand, but it's not got Lululemon written all over your face. I mean, in here, it's got the little emblem, and then on all of the zippers, you'll see that it's got the little emblem on there as well. And that goes for these kind of things here as well. These are like sort of mountain climb clips. And on the other side there, I don't know if you can see that, it says the Lululemon branding on there as well. And I think that's a good design feature on the bag as well. Every single one of the internal zips in here as well has a wee Lululemon sign on it as well and um, so I mean in terms of the branding it is all over the bag but for just the sort of untrained eye it's just a, a black bag and um, and as I sort of mentioned already the, the size of the bag is absolutely perfect for what I need <coughs> now they do do other sizes and um, but for me 37 litres is the perfect size. 30 litres I've had, it's not enough. Um, and I've had one that's kind of f over 42 litres before. And as much as I did like that bag, it just was too big for me. So finally found the, the one that I was looking for. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I'll link the, um, the bag below. This is Command the Day Duffel, um, and you can get it in the UK or the UK stores. UK, UK website is probably your best bet. Now, if you're somebody that trains very, very regularly and you're looking for a bag that's, I would say, a hybrid between using for the gym, using for overnight stays, doubling up for a work bag as well, I would highly recommend the Lululemon Command the Day Duffel bag. Um, yeah. Go get it guys thanks for watching if you can give this a big thumbs up and smash that like button and i'll see you in the next video